Hello and welcome back to the Genius Podcast. My name is Karen Doyle, your host and founder of The Genius Project, an initiative for Catholic women designed to support and resource all Catholic women of all ages and stages in life towards growth, spiritual, personal and professional. Here at The Genius Project, we seek to do this through The Genius Podcast, which you're listening to, the Catholic Women's Masterclass, which takes women on a four-month journey of transformation through rhythms of renewal that can help you live a life of balance and wholeness in Christ. We also run a number of live virtual Catholic Women's Summits per year, and we have a host of online courses and resources available to support you. So you can find out more information about all of these initiatives at our website www.geniusproject.co so to kick off season three of the genius podcast i'd love to take a moment just to bring you up to speed on my life and why it's taken me two months to get into this year I'd love to reflect with you on the upcoming season of Lent, and then I'd love to share with you my hopes and dreams for how we here at The Genius Project want to show up and serve you this year. So ladies, I hope you enjoy this episode. Ladies, welcome back to The Genius Podcast for season three. So exciting to be back with you. I realize it is the 1st of March and this is our first podcast episode. So I haven't been totally MIA. I just thought I'd spend a minute and bring you up to speed. I did want to thank all the beautiful women who have messaged and checked in just to say, is everything okay? And when will you be back? So that is one of the very beautiful aspects of this sisterhood community that we've built here at The Genius Project, where we are journeying through life together and that we are able to check in and support one another. Now, after the Advent series that we did at the end of the year, I got to December, to Christmas, and I thought, I need to do my own masterclass. So I have taken five groups of women through the Catholic Women's Masterclass, which has been just the most beautiful privilege and honor. And we look at these four rhythms of renewal, how we can build in a rhythm of rest, a rhythm of restoration. We look at our relationships and then we look at where God is calling us to serve. Now, I got to the end of the year and I thought, I need to do my own masterclass. I really needed to weave in these rhythms of rest and restoration. And so I took a break. I've taken off from Christmas through to the end of January, our summer break here in Australia, just to be really present with the kids while they're on holidays to Jonathan, and just to allow myself that deep rest that happens when you disconnect, you unplug from social media, and you just disconnect from the hustle and the busyness of work. So it was a very beautiful break. Then I was all ready to come back in February And I got sick, not with COVID, and lost my voice. And you can hear my voice still isn't quite back on track. But when the 1st of March rolled around today, I thought I really need to get back in the saddle and kick off this year with the Genius Podcast. So, ladies, Ash Wednesday is tomorrow. So I couldn't think of a better time to kick off our season three of the podcast than deep diving into this beautiful season of Lent. Over the last couple of years, we have run a Lenten and an Advent retreat series, and these have been incredibly blessed. So this year, we are going to do another one. So people have been messaging and there will be a sign up in the show notes for this to join in. It is free and it's going to be a really beautiful journey through Lent as a sisterhood, as a company of women, because we know as women, we're good on our own, right? But we are so, so much better in community and we are created in and for relationship and so we are not actually supposed to do this journey of life on our own ladies we need each other and so in our journey over these next six weeks of Lent we are going to be partnering with a number of different women from around the world to serve you and to really bless you as you draw closer to the Lord. So Lent begins tomorrow, Ash Wednesday is tomorrow, and this is the start of a beautiful season of preparation. Now in the church, we are actually so blessed to have these seasons defined for us. The Lord knew in his great wisdom that we needed these little punctuations. We needed these little breaks to break up the grind of everyday living. And these seasons actually invite us into a deeper reality. 
And that reality is that we're not just some random beings floating and hustling through life, but that each and every one of us actually has a profound and deep significance and purpose simply because we've been crafted to bear the image of God. When we live our lives hustling through each day, we actually lose sight of the deeper significance and meaning of our lives. And this is why so many of us get in a spin of anxiety, depression, meaninglessness, a lack of purpose. Well, the good news is that even in the face of all of our individual trials and the suffering that we face, even the global heaviness that is upon us, the good news is that we do have a hope and we do have a hope that does not disappoint. We have a hope who has a name and his name is Jesus. And this Lent, I truly believe that Jesus wants to invite all of us as Catholic women into a deeper reflection upon this hope. Over the past two years, I've been convicted by two key scriptures, which have really held me in this steadfast place of trusting in the Lord, despite what the circumstances may be. The first scripture is from the book of Esther, where it says, you have been born for such a time as this. So ladies, I truly believe that with whatever you're facing, with whatever I'm facing, we have been born for this moment in history. It's not an accident that we are alive in 2022. And I truly believe that if we are born for this time, then God will grace us for this time too. So whatever's coming at you, whatever's swirling around on the global platform, whatever it is, you have been born for this moment and God will grace you for this moment. And I think that's a really important thing that we all need to grab a hold of, that truth, that it's not an accident that you have been created for this moment in history. There is purpose and significance and a reason, and the Lord wants to use you in some way. He wants to reveal himself to you so that you can be a bearer of his image to others. But sometimes it's hard to bear his image when we haven't actually encountered him in those deep and hidden places of our life first. The second scripture that really convicted me was that he or she who stands firm to the end will be saved. And I believe as Catholic women, we are being called in this moment in history to respond to whatever we face with a faith that is bold and courageous, to have this rebellious hope, a hope that just hopes in the face of adversity. Now, this is, of course, much easier said than done. And I know for myself, I have had to wrestle and struggle with this. But I do know this one thing, that the Lord is faithful to us. And he is standing before you today with arms outstretched, inviting you to encounter him in a way that you have not before. He wants to draw you deeper to himself in a new way. And this Lent is a gift of a season. And remember, seasons come and go. They don't last forever. So if you are in a season of suffering right now, come to this Lent as you are. Come with your pain and come and walk with us in this sisterhood community to really experience and to really encounter the Lord in this new and this deep way. We need to create some time. And that's what this season of Lent is about, this season of actively preparing our heart and our soul to receive Christ at Easter. But if you're anything like me, life is busy. It's full. I have three children, a husband, we run a business, and we walk alongside a number of people. And there are challenges, right? So how on earth can we make this time to really encounter the Lord in a deep and a new way when we've got so much that's spinning all around us? Well, ladies, time is not going to magically fall out of the sky for you. It's not going to be a case of when you find time. You're actually going to have to be really intentional and create the time. And so I really want to invite you to join us in the Genius Project Sisterhood community for a beautiful Lenten retreat series. So I want to encourage you, it doesn't have to be perfect. We all know that life happens. Last week, I had kids home sick and I wasn't able to pray and prepare in the way that I would have liked to. But I guess my love and my care of my sick children were my prayer. So we can't always have it textbook perfect and that's okay. But how are you going to create a little bit of time? How are you going to be intentional about this Lent. 
So ladies, I want to share with you just very briefly about the Lenten retreat series that we're going to be offering through the Genius Project over the next 40 days. So we've run a number of Lent and Advent retreat series, and this year we're going to be taking women through this beautiful book by Sister Miriam James Heitland called Restore. And I'm very, very excited about this. This is a guided Lent journal for prayer and meditation. Now, if you're in Australia, you can get a copy through Modern Grace. If you're in the USA, you can get it through Ave Maria Press or Amazon. And even if you haven't got a copy yet, you can still join us and start this journey tomorrow because Ash Wednesday begins, Lent begins tomorrow, ladies. So the Genius Podcast will run throughout Lent and we're going to be exploring the themes and the pillars that make up this season of preparation. So we'll be looking at prayer, fasting and alms giving and how as women we can practice these and integrate these into our everyday life, even in the midst of all the busyness. So in addition to the Genius Podcast, we'd love you to join with us in our sisterhood community, which is going to meet online every fortnight throughout the season of Lent to work through this beautiful book by Sister Miriam. So we're going to do this together in community. So once a fortnight, we'll come together on Zoom, we'll gather online, there'll be a guest speaker, and then we're going to break out into small groups for discussion and we'll lead you through those discussions. Now, two years ago, when we did Father Jacques Philippe's book, Searching for and Maintaining Inner Peace, some of those sisterhood groups which were formed during Lent, they're still running two years later. So such a beautiful gift. If you are living on your own and you're in a remote rural area, perhaps you're overseas and you'd like to join in some other with some other women, then please sign up. There'll be a link in the show notes. And then we'll be capping off this with a live virtual Catholic Women's Summit the week after Easter. So I really hope that you can join us. You can sign up on the website, www.geniusproject.co or in the show notes or the link in our bio on our Instagram page, genius underscore project underscore daily. So ladies, We're really, really excited. We really hope that you will join us for this Lent. So just before I wrap up this podcast episode, I'd love to finish by letting you know about our heart for the Genius Project and some of the things that we're going to be bringing you as an effort to serve you in your faith and your professional life, your spiritual growth and your personal transformation over this coming year. So we've got the Genius Podcast, the Catholic Women's Masterclass, and we are kicking off a new group in the next couple of weeks. This could be a really beautiful experience for you to walk through over the course of Lent as well. So have a look at that, www.geniusproject.co on the Masterclass page. The other thing that we're going to be offering through the Genius Project and that we are really excited to be offering this year is Catholic Coaching for Catholic Women. Recently, I graduated from the Purgative Way Catholic Coaching course. So now I am a qualified, professionally trained Catholic mindset coach. So if you need any help managing your thoughts, managing your mind, and you want to experience breakthrough in the patterns of your thought life, then please send me an email, karen at geniusproject.co, and I can send you some information on our Catholic coaching programs. Catholic coaching is really about becoming a student of your interior life and being renewed by the transformation of your mind. So often in life, we get stuck, right? We get stuck, we experience a circumstance and we feel really strongly about it. And we think that our feelings are dictated to us by our circumstance, but we forget that there is this sacred and holy ground between the circumstance and the feeling. And that is our thought life, because how we feel is actually a direct result of what we think and the thoughts that we think about a circumstance. And so in Catholic Mindset Coaching, we take you through a process where you can start to evaluate what your thoughts are, because thoughts are nothing more than sentences going through your mind. And so we actually can train ourselves, like scripture says, to take our thoughts captive and make them obedient to Christ. We can actually train our thoughts to think and to think about our thinking so that we can create some different outcomes in our life. So that's something really exciting that we're going to be offering here at the Genius Project. And finally, we will be launching the Genius Academy. So if you are a Catholic woman in business, 
a Catholic entrepreneur or creative or in a startup phase, we would love to invite you to be a part of this dynamic and vibrant network of Catholic women who are on a mission to live their unique call and to bring to life what God has placed within them to bring. Now, this has been in the pipeline for the past two years, and very shortly we will be launching this. So if you'd like to get on the wait list and hear about all the things related to the Genius Academy, please send me an email at karen at geniusproject.co. All right, ladies, that's it for this first episode of season three of the Genius Podcast. We will be back next week where we're going to deep dive into this season of Lent, specifically looking at prayer. Then we're going to be looking at fasting and then almsgiving. So ladies, God bless you. It's great to be back with you. And I look forward to journeying with you through this Lent.